All right. Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before I get started, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, Baharachakwadash, which Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, as whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, it's his true name, and the Rachakwadash, that is the Holy Spirit. And I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to all you brothers out there. And today I just want to get into a lesson. And it's a land back off the, uh, the two teachers in our camp. All right, the uh, brother uh, Quadar and the brother Iwalamium. And um, I basically did a video that was based on a scripture in Sirach, which Lord willing, I might get a little bit later about how the Lord... You know his eyes are ten thousand bright. Um, his eyes are ten thousand brighter than the sun. Okay, and he basically sees everything. And uh, what inspired that lesson was uh, just a few things that happened in our camp. And um, you know, you know, brothers, you got to be truthful with first and foremost. All right, with Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Okay, you know, then yourself. And then, you know, hey, hey, the men around you, okay? You see? You know, hey, hey you, you don't want to, uh, you know, lie, you know, about your, you know, your reports and what you're doing out here, you know? Hey, be truthful. Because, hey, look, the Spirit is going to uh, uh, search you out and it's going to find you one way or another, okay? You cannot hide from your howl bosh, shimmy howl shot. All right, it's impossible. You know what, let me start off with the scripture that I have on deck. This is uh, Proverbs 15 and 3. The eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the evil and the good. So you see, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai sees all, you know. You know, you, you can't, you know, lie and finesse your way out of situations. The Lord sees all the good and all the evil. Doesn't matter, all right. So I'll say this. You know, hey, you might have a, a moment, all right, where, where you're slipping up. And hey, if brothers are, you know, are questioning these things, hey, just be truthful, you know, and just, hey, do better, improve. You know, it's very, very simple, okay? You know, because the second you start lying and you start, you know, not being, you know, uh, truthful to the situation, that's when you're, you know, you're digging yourself, you know, a deeper hole. And it's harder to get out of it. So it's best, hey, 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 as the scriptures say, what, a just man falleth, what, seven times? And maybe that was your time to fall. Hey, just get back up and just keep it moving. Keep pushing, all right? You know, that's the best thing you, you, uh, you can do. Because like, like I say, like the scriptures say, look, hey, the, 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 the Lord's going to see all these things and the Spirit's going to pop you off, okay? The Spirit's going to pop you off, you see? And uh, let me get this real quick, because the brothers brought that out in the in the uh, lesson that they made, which was a very beautiful lesson. Um, very very beautiful. But this is a uh, Sirach chapter twenty three, verse nineteen, and it reads here: "Such a man only feareth the eyes of men, and knoweth not that the eyes of the Lord are ten thousand times brighter than the sun beholding all the ways of men and considering the most secret parts so the lord knows everything okay lord knows your, th your thoughts knows a hey, what you've uh, done you know your deeds okay so there's no hiding there's no hiding all right so it's best a hey, jj just to, uh you know be, be you know give an honest report okay and, uh, 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 you know, like I said, if you fall, just keep pushing. That's it. That's all you can do. You know, because we all mess up. Hey, but don't be slacking this thing. You know, hey, we're, we're too close to the end. Especially you brothers that have been in it for a long time. You know, hey, you, you know the protocol. You know the drill. Okay? Hey, what are you going to go back to? Hey, even the Apostle Peter said it. If I'm not mistaken. 
And we said that to Yahweh Shai. And basically, you got the ways of life. You know, where are we going to go? What are we going to go back to? This world that, that that's falling apart. You know, it, it, they World War Three is here. Okay. The number of confusion with the politics, the economies, you know, you know, falling, you know, falling apart, circling down the drain. All right. Every woman's polluted that you talk to. Everybody's a mo nowadays. This is what you want to go back to? You know, it's through, man. Okay? Hey, just keep your eyes single. Stay focused. Okay? Hey? And uh, hey, keep, keep, keep pushing. Before you know it, we're going to uh, uh, be out of this, uh, this hellhole that we're in. Okay? All right, but let me, uh, let me get this scripture. It's been coming out a lot in uh, my last few uh, uh, lessons. But hey, they, you know, we're in that time period. Look, we're all about to, uh, we're all about to have to appear before the judgment seat. Okay. Yep, right here. This is uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 10. It says, For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Yahweh Shai, that everyone may receive the things done in his body, according to that he hath done, whether it be good or bad. You see? We're all going to have to appear before that judgment seat. You know? There is no um, avoiding it. And you got to ask yourself, was my sacrifice good? You no, know, did I give it my all? Now, of course, we understand that, hey, we can always do better, you know. But, you know, you really got to, you know, think about these things. Am I uh, 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 placing a righteous sacrifice? Or is this a wicked one like, you know, uh, 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 Cain's? You see? And that's something that we don't want to do. You know, we want to have a, a, a sacrifice like, uh, uh, like Abel, a righteous one. You know? We want the Lord to... You know, remember all these, you know, you know, uh, righteous works that we've done. You know, uh, you know, us going to, you know, to, to, to camp, us making these videos, you know, uh, us reading our scriptures, studying the Hebrew, being brotherly to one another, you know, uh, you know, having that charity. Okay, so on and so forth. That's what we want the, uh, the Lord to look at. You know, not our sins, because, hey, we're all sinners and we all fall. Hey, uh, the scriptures say we, we've all have uh, uh, fallen short of the glory of Yahweh Bashem Shai. You know? None of us are perfect. Hey, but we got to, you know, try uh, to the best of our ability to, uh, 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 to, 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 you know, basically make Yahweh Bashem Shai happy. You know? We just have to, you know, really try. All right. Like I said, you know, you, you, you don't, you don't want to be, uh, and really I'll say this because they, you know, like I said, you know, going back to like those reports, you know, there's only so much that you can, uh, that you can hide and really, you know, you're hurting your own self. You know, the scriptures say, what? Well, um, let me get this real quick. It's in Second Ezra's. Second Ezra's the um it's the first or second chapter. I think it's the first chapter. This is uh basically that you've forsaken your own selves. Cause that's basically what Jake does. Okay. When you sit there and like I said, you know, being you know, you, you're being lazy. All right, you're not doing your videos. You're not doing your precepts of the day. Okay, so on and so forth. You're, you're actually forsaking yourself because really, these things are to help you out. You know, you go into camp, a uh, 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 helps you. You know, you go into class, you go into, uh, 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 you know, like I said, you doing the precepts of the day, so on and so forth. This is actually... Helping you out. Okay. 
Because look, the Lord doesn't need us. We need the Lord. Always got to remember that. But this is uh, 2 Ezra 1, and um, I'll start at 25. Seeing ye have forsaken me, I will for forsake you also. When ye desire me to be gracious unto you, I shall have no mercy upon you. Okay, you see? If you ultimately for forsake you, how about Shimei he, he He's going to have no mercy upon you. And that's really because you were being a wicked servant, as the scriptures talk about. You know? It, uh, uh, it, it, it talks about that in uh, the Gospels. You know? Hold on real quick. Let me just bypass this real fast. Give me one second. I mean, I was very shocked. I think that was a shock of everybody. Let me keep reading. Um, this is uh, 2 Ezra chapter 1, verse uh, 26 now. It says, Whensoever ye shall call upon me, I will not hear you. For ye have your de defiled your hands with blood, and your feet are swift to commit manslaughter. Ye, not, ye have not as it were forsaken me, but your own self saith the Lord. You see, you, you, you really forsake your own self, okay? If you're not, you know, you know, putting uh, 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 your all into this thing, all right? If you're just hurting yourself, the Lord doesn't need you, okay? You know, and then ultimately, I'll say this, you know, hey, the scriptures talk about what? In that Philippians 2 and 12, that you got to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling, talks about in a, a Revelation 22 how we're all going to be judged according to our works. And the reason why I'm bringing these two things out or those two precepts out is, look, at the end of the day, the, the, the brotherhood, if they're a part of the elect, they, they, and if you're a, a wicked servant, the, the, the brotherhood doesn't need you, okay? And look, I, I've seen many men, okay, who weren't right get kicked out of our camp and all it did was, you know, uh, 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 um, uh, it allowed us to grow as a camp, okay? Because basically the cancer, okay, was removed. All right, so so basically growth uh, uh, happened. And, and, and we still, let's say even if that individual that got kicked out, he let's say he had money, okay? You know, he, he, he had, you know, you know, a car or whatever, maybe some knowledge and, you know, you know, uh, uh, being a mechanic or whatever it is, right? Hey, we, we, we still keep it moving, man. You know, we, we, we're still, we're still fine. We're still here. We don't, we don't need you, man. You know, first and foremost, it's Yahweh about Shimei al And then secondly, the body doesn't ultimately need you if you're evil. Okay? You know what I'm saying? Hey, look, first and foremost, we need Yahweh about Shimei al -Shai. And then secondly, we need this body, man. You know? But certain guys, they, you know, they they take this for granted. They don't see the severity of, you know, of uh, 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 not doing the works. They don't see the severity of that. And they really, what it is, is just blinded by the society, you know? All right? You know, they, the, 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 the God of this world... Has blinded them, which is Esau, Edom, Satan. They're wooed, you know, off of the flashing lights, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? They're woo wooed at, at this carnival, this circus that we're in. Because they're able to, you know, go on a ride or two, you know what I mean? But look, they, this shit's about to shut down. This is why I'm hoping, you know, that first and foremost, because, you know, this is an individual thing. I'm hoping myself and those that are around me make it, you know. I hope we all make it. They, 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 those brothers who are sincere that are fighting every day, that are pushing every day. I, I, I hope we all make it. That's why we, we just got to keep, you know, putting as much work as we can. Hey, the scriptures say this. Let me get this real quick. It's a lot of your brothers. It talks about what, um, uh, um, that we got to labor to enter into that rest. It is work to be done, man. All right. There's work to be done. 
A lot of you guys are just lazy. Slothful. I mean, what else are you doing with your life? Playing a, a PS5? Well, 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 well you, you're hanging out with your woman and, some, and your kids? Tell them you don't got time for the Lord? Hell with you, man, if you, if you feel that way. Let's see if those, if those things save you in that day. You know what I'm saying? Let's see if your job saves you. Let's see if that woman saves you. Let's, let's see if the video game saves you. You know what I'm saying? A lot of you guys got your priorities all messed up. What it is too, man, a lot of you guys aren't disciplined. You need to hey, 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 really write down a schedule and stick to it. You know what I'm saying? Now, of course, you're going to have some curveballs coming in your day, right, or in your week. It kind of throws things off a little bit. But, hey, if you got that schedule where you wake up at the same time every day, basically, you go to work at the same time, you know, hey, you know, you, you go to you work out at the same time, whatever, you, you got that schedule, I'm telling you, man, you get, you're a lot more productive. And when you're all over the place, all right, I'm telling you, it, it, you, you, you your, your production level goes down drastically. But this is uh, Hebrews 4 and 11. Let us therefore, so like, let us labor therefore to enter into that rest. Least any man fall after the same example of unbelief. See, you, you, you got to uh, labor, all right, to enter into that rest. And you see a lot of guys, you know, they thought this was going to be, you know, uh, done quickly. You know, this work. Oh, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, you know, by five, you know, by my fifth year, my sixth year, seventh year, etc. I should be good. Next thing you know, it hits ten years, and then, and, then, and we're, we're, you know, we're still, you know, out there preaching and pushing. The Lord has to come back, and and you know what? In their eyes, you know, the Lord's never coming back now. He's taking too long. I could be doing something else. That's the mindset that they got. The Lord ain't running on, on your time, man. Hey, this is the hey, Yahweh Bashim Al Shai's time. All right? Hey, Yahweh's going to send Yahweh Shai back when it's perfect, when it's right. You know? See, a lot of these guys, you know, they, 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 you know they're, they're, they're so important <laughs> in their mind that they, they don't have to wait. You know, the Lord should be on my time. I want this, you know, this captivity to be over now. What the hell is wrong with you, man? I'm hey, I'm t I'm t you know what it is, man? I'm just tired of punks, man. A, lot of you got, a bunch of you guys got pussy-ass spirits on you. A lot of you guys got just a pussy-ass spirit. I don't give a fuck, man, how this comes out. Don't subscribe to me. I don't give a fuck, man. A lot of you guys got fucking pussy-ass spirits. Fucking just deal with what you got to deal with and keep fighting. God damn, man. We're all going through shit. That's the thing I, I, I hate about a lot of a, a lot of cats out there that call themselves Israelites, man. Act like they're, they're the only ones that got problems. We all got fucking problems, man. What you got to do, baby? What you got to do is deal with it and, and, and keep it moving and keep fighting. What you gonna do? Just stop? Oh, the Lord didn't come back, so you know what? I'm gonna just throw in the towel. Hey, you're a faggot. How about that, man? I don't care. Fucking clip my page too, Esau. I'm in that fucking spirit, man. I don't give a fuck, man. I'm tired of this shit. Shit's about to get fucking real, and Jake's sitting here, you know, you know, just complaining and and just, you know, getting weak right now. Are you kidding me, man? It's about to get crazy out here. Right now in Chicago, you got the DNC going on, and they basically got the uh, a part of Chicago closed down. It's literally like martial law. You got gates that, that, you know, these little tiny gates to go through, all right, to enter particular streets. You got roads blocked off with, 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 from, from the, uh, the, 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 the plow trucks, okay? Different barriers. Are you kidding me, man? They're showing you what they're going to do. 
ain't gonna be a joke very soon. This election's gonna be a, a real turning point, okay, in this thing. A lot of stuff's about to happen, and you got Jake just getting weak, man. Got that little, uh, that little uh, Jody ass spirit, baby boy ass spirit on him. Grow up. That's the thing with a lot of Jakes. They they just haven't grown the fuck up already. And I'm talking about men that been in it for 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 years. Like grow the fuck up, man. That's the problem with Jake, man. Jake still wants to be a little baby boy stuck at their fucking mommy's house, their grandma's house. What's up, grown man? Shit over here, man. You got fucking weak ass men. Go go, hey man, get the. You know what, man? I'm in that spirit. Hey, you're weak. Get the fuck out of here, then, man. Hey, the scriptures talk about in Deuteronomy. Hey, if you got that, 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 um, you're not ready to go out to war, you're scared, you gotta stay home. Stay the fuck home while the men go out and fight. Get the fuck away from me. I don't wanna be around you. I wanna be around men that are ready to give their lives for this thing, man. I'm fucking tired of this shit. Fucking men not doing videos for a month, not going to classes for fucking two months. Got this and that excuse. Get the fuck out of here, man. I'm tired of this fucking shit. It's a lot for, 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 for the rant, but it, it, it's real fucking annoying, man. Real fucking annoying. Fuck. It's crazy. I, I didn't even want to get in the spirit, but the spirit just switches up so quick. Fuck, man. Salakia. Sometimes it, it just got to be said. All right, but let me get a, a pre-sale. What is it? Uh, um, oh, I know it's in Proverbs. What is that? Oh, man, how is that worded? Let me see if this comes up. Yeah, here we go. This is... Uh, Proverbs 24 and 10. If thou fate in the day of adversity, thy strength is small. And a lot of you guys start falling off all, all over simple shit, man. Your woman left you, all right? Some shit happened at the job. Oh, you want to go out on a Saturday or a Friday whenever, you know, you're, you're camping. You know, and say, you, you feel like your time is wasted. So, you know what, uh, you, you know what, I, I think I'm going to, you know, break off and do my own thing. Good, do your own thing. See how long you last. Next thing you know, you're going to be talking about the new covenant for t two fucking years straight. Or you're going to be fucking, you know, smoking a fucking cigar, thinking you're, you're, you're fucking doing it big. What the fuck these guys do when they fall out, you know? Probably get a bunch of fucking tattoos. Why don't you go fucking tattoo your face like fucking Lil Wayne while you're at it? Fucking schmuck. So a lot of you guys got a whole ass spirit on you, man. Then then, then you got guys. <laughs> I don't know why the spirit's just all over the place now. Then you got guys, you know, they get rebuked and reproof. Next thing you know, they're making these slander videos. <laughs> talking about how, how we're, you know, pedos and stuff. Even though all we do is just you know, rebuke the, uh, uh, this society, all right, for, 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 you know, pushing that agenda. But we're pedos, though. You got guys like, you know, with Deacon Hakai, whatever the hell that dickhead's name is, man. You know what I'm saying? You got that guy, you know, uh, starting to, you know, push that slander with the rest of these punks, man. All right, they have already done it. Hey, every other word is gonna, uh, hey, it's, it's gonna come to you, man. A lot of you guys are false witnesses. The Lord's going to deal with you, man. The Lord is going to deal with you. And we're at the end of this thing. We're at the end of it. Are you, hey, man, the Lord's about to start dropping these, these guys. He's going to make it public. The Lord already did it to, to what, 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 Comfy. What was that, you know, several years back? You know? It's not that hard for the Lord to just drop somebody. And make it known too at the same time. 
You know? I'm telling you, the Lord's about to start moving in on all you. And a lot of you, you know, it's wild. The Lord's going to save a lot of you punks for the very end. The Lord's going to allow you to see all, all these plagues. He's going to allow you to survive all of it just to get hit with a fucking nuke. Just so you know that, you know what, you ain't one of the chosen and you are wicked. Here you go. Know what I'm saying? I'm telling you. I said the Lord's about to start dealing with a lot of people, man. That's why I'm hoping and praying that I'm on the right side. I pray that, that, that the Lord just sees the, these righteous deeds that I'm trying to offer up to the best of my ability. You know, I, I'm praying. I'm scared, man. I'm fucking scared. I don't care. Hey, I, hey, I can sound like a little baby, whatever. People can make fun of me. I'm fucking scared, man. This, hey, hey I, I'll be really thinking about this. I'll be visualizing the end of this world, man. And I pray that the Lord keeps me because it's about to get fucking chaotic. And if you don't got divine intervention, man, hey, that, you know, coming your way, you are smoked. It's, it's a wrap. Like I tell the brothers, I don't care, man. Like, hey, you, you can... You, you can survive the, 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 the famines, the, 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 the warfare, whatever. You know what I'm saying? The pestilence. But how are you going to outrun a, a, a thermonuclear missile? How? It's impossible. The only way that, 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 that you can get saved or you can survive it is, is through a Yahweh Shah coming and delivering you. So yeah, I'm fucking nervous, man. Hey, let me, I'm going to end it off with this. Scriptures talk about how the righteous shall scarcely be saved. Okay? We've got guys playing out there. Fucking just playing. Where's that at? Salak, yeah, give me one second. I know it's in Peter. I forget where it's at, though. Oh, come on, man. Maybe I'm spelling it wrong. Hold on. Scarcely saved. Here we go. This is, um... You know, I'm going to start up above. This is uh, 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 17. For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of the Most High. All right? And it starts off with you Israelites to actually know that you're Israelites. They have the circumcision. The Lord is going to deal with these different camps. Okay. These different people that say that they're Israel. All right. And it says, and if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of the most high? And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? And you see, the main point is the righteous shall scarcely be saved. We're barely going to get out of this place. You know? Like I say, then you got Jake playing games out here. Jake think, thinking that they can get away with X, Y, Z things. Are you out of your mind? The Lord sees it all. We read these scriptures. And if you, if you, if you ain't truthful to the Lord, if you want to be a liar like Cain, you're going to get that Cain judgment, man. You know what I'm saying? Jake really better, they better start, you know, uh, uh, considering what they're doing. And really start, you know, uh, 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 meditating on the things they do, for, you know, day to day. Now, I understand you may not be able to, you know, have that time to really, you know, uh, you know, uh, uh, think like that. You know what I'm saying? Because I get it, you know, brothers are maybe working long shifts, got a family. You know what I'm saying? Maybe doing X, Y, Z things, you know, with the, you know, the brotherhood. I get it. But, hey, you, you need time to, to, to sit, you know. Sit down and think about what's going on in your life. You know what I'm saying? What you're doing. What you need to improve on. All right? Let things marinate in your mind. You know, you may listen to a video. And let that video, let that message, what was being said in that video, marinate. Let it settle in. You know? Hey, you read something, let it settle in your mind. Jake needs to really, really take some time. Uh, uh, some time to themselves, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, 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 the hell with the family, all right? 
You know what I'm saying? The hell with the job, so on and so forth. Go out for a walk, a, 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 go by the lake, go a, if you're by an ocean. I don't know what Jake's by, you know what I'm saying? Did, did, maybe there's a forest preserve. Sit down and just relax and think, man. All right, but hey, you know, I'm going to end this lesson. Hopefully it was edifying and hey, just be truthful and do do what you got to do in this uh, uh, uh this truth, man. All right. The Lord sees all our words, good and evil. All right, and with that, I'm going to uh, end this lesson. I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashem Al Shai. Also, double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Mill.